Slack is a chat service which features rich text content. It uses a syntax similar to Markdown. As you can see, slightly different though. For instance, to input a quote, you just input a close bracket and then a space, and this is a quote. I'm personally interested in providing the ability to write markdown on one side and on the other to display it. I strive to have something that looks good on a display, so for instance if I use a whole page I keep margins on either side. I use an asterism for horizontal ruler and if you can see um, the border of the preformatted text has a border radius to make it look smoother. But you may notice that here the border of the quote has very pointy angles. It doesn't have a border radius or anything like that. And that is something that looks quite good, for example, here on Slack. It's something that they do right. So the question is, how do they do it? Well, they're a bit cheating because they're using HTML as a system to display things exactly the way they want. And so they don't translate this into a proper HTML and then do the CSS. So one way they display it, for example, is to make this a div, which has a particular width and so on and they apply a border radius in CSS on that. But I try to stay as close as possible to the original HTML that gets output from common mark. And so I don't have this luxury. As an example of the HTML, you can see that I directly have the block quote and I apply as CSS a border left here which has four pixels and a specific color and a padding and that's it. So how would I make this have a smooth border? So obviously if I tried to do border radius uh, say 8 pixel it wouldn't work at all even if I said 4 pixels, it would look weird because it's only on one side. The edge is not round. So that's no good. One idea that I had was to have a border image. So if I remove that and then add a border image. The image is just a very simple um, how how can I show it? Well, it's it's just this image there, a few pixels with a border radius with the color I want. But I don't want to have like this weird padding inside of the block quote. So if I uncomment that, if I comment that um, I'm going to want to have this uncommented as well to ensure that there is no weird margin here and there. And this works except that there is a small bit of space at the bottom and at the top which is not necessarily good looking. And, and the reason for having that bit of space is because the border goes on here so there's an invisible border going at the top and at the bottom and the reason I need that border is because I'm using a 
border image so this image is basically supposed to be like a square and inside of this square it gets split into nine parts one for the top left one for the top top right left center right bottom left bottom and bottom right and the top left contains the round border the left contains just one row of pixels of the color I want that I stretch all the way to the bottom and then the bottom left contains the other round border. If I removed the bottom and the top and had only just the left, well we wouldn't see the round border so that would be pointless. And I could make it so that we do have a border but then the border would be stretched and it wouldn't look good at all. So one possibility was to um, make a border image yet again with a radial gradient. So basically what you want to display is an ellipse. And you want to set it so that the ellipse is on the left. You can imagine that like the whole this whole block is where you draw the ellipse, but you want the ellipse to be on the far left. So you specify that there is only two pixels on the left and you want the larger radius to be 50% of the height and then you want to specify that uh, you have a stark change to ensure that there is a defined border and one way to do it so that there is no weird space on the top and on the bottom is to ensure that when you define the border image so like the square there is no top left and there is no top right there is only a left side that occupies the whole image but the problem with that approach is that if you do it first of all it doesn't look very good but the reason it doesn't look very good is because the ellipse is stretched and so it's going to look different depending on the height of the block quote so for instance we're going to see immediately how bad it becomes when you have a huge height as you can see the ellipse is further stretched and that means that the uh, radius at the end is not smooth at all so that's not good obviously as you can imagine we can also make it so that um, the just like with the border image we keep a top left and we keep a top right and it looks pretty good the difference with the border image is that this time it's very pixelized there is no you know um, it's not a smooth edge but from further out it, it looks okay the problem is that just like with the border image there is yet again a weird space at the top and a weird space at the bottom and that just doesn't look right and you can probably see that space if I hover over that and you see the orange part at the top and at the bottom it was a serious contender and it still is but there is a different approach that I'd like to consider next which is to use a before pseudo element with no content obviously and I made it float to the left and the idea was to like use it as an object exactly in the same way that Slack has a div that has the proper size and so on but as you're going to see it doesn't quite work out right so I need to remove 
that padding, I think. There. The problem with this is that there is no way to know, like if I select the before, there is no way to get the proper height. It's basically, th this height was set and it's not the right height. And there is no way to input the right height. We have no way to know exactly how high it should be. So that doesn't work either. But staying in the idea of having this before element, there is actually a trick we can do by setting the position of the block quote to relative. The absolute values of the inside position is going to refer to the relative block. And so when I set the height to 100%, it's going to use the whole width. And so this actually works exactly as I want it to, um, apart from I have to put that back in. There we go. And as you can see, the border is perfectly smooth, as if it was a border radius. And in fact, it is a border radius. So that is what I'm going for.